D, wait for it. Light bulb. Check out the name tag. You're in my world now, Grandma. What's up, nerds? So, just finished Gotham Nights episode nine. And I want to be honest, it wasn't a complete nightmare. There are some things about this show that I do like, but overall it's just trash because it's it's like such, there are times when it's such cringe that I'm just like, is anybody even trying to create something good here? You know, um, I don't like the, 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 the brother, sister team Harper. And then whatever, what's the brother's name? I, I don't like those actors. They're not good at it. They're not good actors. Um, and every time they they speak, I'm just like, seriously, this is just trash. Um, like, and I don't like the kid that plays Turner Hayes because he just delivers his lines like so cringy. It's so cringy. I'm listen, I don't want to sit here and act like I'm an actor or whatever, but I I'm like a hundred percent positive I could do a better job than all three of those kids put together. I'm sorry. Like, that's just how that is. Um but I think that the 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 story arc and they they added some emblem um uh some elements from the comic book in this episode, which I did um appreciate. But like it happens to Turner, who is not a character from the comic books. It's a character from this TV show. And I just go, why did you make this character up? He's just he's like the AliExpress version of Dick Grayson. And I'm all like, and you know. Uh, Jason Todd and all of the Robins that came before he's the alley he's the wish version of them and it's just it's just why why you know um and then I also but but the the Court of Owls um storyline is is actually not that bad uh you know it's just this this show doesn't know how to execute it with everything else like I I just I just honestly just I'm like every time you know the Turner character is on screen i just go uh kill me now you know i'm just like please just end it um but i do i do there are like i said and the girl that's playing duella um i don't know her name um she's doing a good job like th this that's the only parts of this show when she's on screen and actually doing like they give her more to do i'm all like see this girl this girl came she brought lunch, you know what I'm saying? She brought the lunch and everybody else is just like, you know, snacking. And I'm all like, no, nah, this girl's bringing it. She knows what she was asked of. And the rest of you, I don't know what your problem is, you know? And then also, uh, Misha Collins is doing a good job, but he was in this episode, like such, and his character, there's things about this, this character that I'm just like, ah, uh, is that how that goes down in real life? Like we could use a little bit of realism, you know what I'm saying? Um, everybody else is either okay or, you know, mediocre, you know, nothing, nothing crazy to write home. Like Blondie and then um, Carrie are not that great. I mean, not that they're not bad, but they're nothing to write home about. Like, they're just like there, you know? All right. I'm going to break down this episode, but I'm going to do it uh, as fast as possible because I know you guys have stuff to do and, and I got stuff to do. I got to, I got to, uh, my, my son wants to hang out and everything. So I'm just going to take a couple minutes to record this. But before I get started, I just want to say that if you like what I do here and you enjoy independent content here on YouTube, please consider subscribing to my channel. YouTube is always changing up their algorithm and small channels like mine, we just keep getting shoved to the back of the line. So please ask that you like, share, and subscribe. And I thank you in advance. And do this for any small YouTuber, you guys. We really appreciate it. And it costs literally nothing. It costs you nothing. Just hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and maybe the notification bell if you're interested. I don't know. Um, but yeah, all right, let's get started on this episode. So it starts off in Harvey Dent's office, right? And he comes out and he's like, hey, did they find any new stuff uh, at the uh, the crime scene um, last night? And she's like, um, no. Uh, and she's like, what are you going to do? And he's like, I'm going to find out what's going on, who killed um, what's her face, or I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find out something, or I can't remember what he says, but I'm just like, is that the DA's job to do detective work? I've never heard of this before. Like, I'm like, I get it, but I don't understand why the show is doing I mean, I do get why the show is doing it, but I'm just like, that's not the DA's, that's not his job to do detective work, okay? He's not the police officer, but you know, whatever. So he opens up, this is the mask he was wearing last episode at the end. And he he pops it out. He's got the gloves on, which is always good. Oops, I fast forward way too fast. And he he does a swab, and then he has that sent into the lab. So then back at the school, 
they're all mad. They're like, why did we leave Turner? Because if you remember last episode, the uh, Court of Owls took him to give him, a, you know, and then they killed um, uh, Petra, Pet, Petra, Portia. Who cares? Okay. The, 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 the wish, the AliExpress version of Alfred. You know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> so they're all like, we couldn't, we could. And, and Duella is pissed that they left him. And, you know, and rightfully so, because she's like, he saved my life and we're just going to leave him. And they're like, we couldn't, we couldn't do anything. And she's like, but you heard him. They, they're, he's still alive. So we're going to find him. And they're like, all right, we need to find the, um, Eternium. Is that the name of the little stone? The, the stuff they were looking for. They need to find that so they can then, um, give it to the Court of Owls in, in for Turner. They want to give it for Turner. So he's over. He's like, I've been over this map. There's no X marks the spot. This is old Gotham. And she's like, hey, she's like, look at this signature. Didn't artists sign their signature at the bottom uh, right hand corner? But maybe this is Alan um, Wayne's version of an X marks the spot. And he's like, oh, I, I, I've been over this. I didn't notice that before. And I'm all like, you know, and, and, and he does a horrible job. And then the thing is, this is the thing. These these characters are just so fantastic at everything they do there's no challenges and that's the thing about about story writing and that, the, that you can tell that these these writers are from batwoman because they have the same problem that they did in batwoman everything was figured out with ease there was no um struggle or accountability there was just it was not a hero's journey and these guys i mean yeah they're running from the cops but are they really i mean like i mean come on so they just, they're just so good at everything. They're just so smart and so good. They're Mensa level smart, but you know, they're, they're poor. They were born poor and I'm like, get out of here. So, um, they decide that they're going to go check it out. going to go check stuff out. Meanwhile, Turner is in Wayne Manor and the court of owls has brought him there. And they're like, we want you, um, they're like, uh, we want you to join us and everything is like, I'm never going to join you. And he shows his face. He's like, ah, oh, I don't remember this guy's name. He's like, oh, it's you and everything. He's like, yeah. And so he's like, we, and he dips it in this little, uh, which looks like uh, man goo, if you get what I'm saying. It looks like jizz. It just looks like jizz. And I'm like, ugh, gross. Um, now this, oh, let me, I'll tell you in just one second. And then he stabs Turner. He's like, uh, he's like, you know, you'll get to see whatever right now. And then he starts, uh, he falls asleep and then he starts, he wakes up and he's hallucinating. So he's in the manor and he's running around. He's like, what did you put on that, that dagger? Now, this is um, reminiscent of the comic book because in the comic book, they didn't do it exactly like this. They did it way better in the comic book. So they put Batman, they don't know it's Bruce Wayne, but they put Batman in this giant maze that's like all white, all white. And in the middle of the maze, in the, um, oh, what is the middle? The, in the center, they put a big giant water fountain, Right. And the water fountain is laced with this hallucinogen, but it's the only water in the entire thing. And Batman's constantly like, I can't drink that water. And he's like, I have to drink the water. I'm going to, I'm too dehydrated. I'm not going to be able to, to get out of here. So he drinks the water and he just starts hallucinating. Um, and I, I'm, if I remember correctly, he sees his parents and this whole time, the owls are watching him. The court of owls is watching him from on high. And, um, I thought that that part from the comic books was, was, I thought it was pretty good. You know, I liked it. Um, I did, I, I did, I know some people that don't like the, the Court of Owls storyline from the comic books, but I personally enjoyed it. And, um, um, there was a rumor that, uh, Matt Reeves was going to do that for his Batman movie, but then he pulled away from it. And, um, it would have been cool to see what they would have done with that in, uh, in, in film form, but they didn't. It's fine. Whatever. It's fine. That movie was garbage anyways. Okay. So he's hallucinating and long story short, he gets to a room and let me see if they have it here. Um, oh yeah. He gets, a, he gets followed and attacked by the bats. And I was like, Oh God. And there's his parents. He's like, mom, dad. And they're like, Oh, my son. And they're like, they're like, we missed you. And, and uh, so then we go back to Gotham and these guys, this is a, a, uh, di they're digging. They're digging, uh, and, uh, cheapo uh, stuff. Um, <laughs> and these two sneak in and they're like, they're like, we need to get in there and see what they're, 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 they're digging for something. They're digging for that Eternium or whatever, or equilibrium or whatever it was called. They're digging for it. 
And they're like, you're going to go in there and be a little honeypot and uh, and uh, distract them. And she's like, wait, is that feminism back a million years? Um, it's like, that's all I'm good for is the distraction. And she's like, hey, big muscular construction guy, can you show me where the attorney is? And I'm like, get the hell out of here with your <laughs> feminism stuff. Feminism is cancer. Um, but anyway, so uh, she, she, well, third wave feminism or fourth wave feminism is, is cancer. Anyway, so she goes, hey, I I lost my way. I heard there was a, uh, you know, a coffee truck nearby. He's like, yeah, it's down the road. But she steals the, uh, the other one. The, the lesbian steals the walkie talkie. She's like, this way. Thank you. Bye. And so they're listening to these guys on the road uh, on the, the, the walkie talkie. And they don't they don't know where they're digging for the equilibrium in that little spite a site. They don't know what they're where they're digging. So then um he's he's like, Hey guys, I found something. So he's like, they couldn't tell with this thing on the the uh thing, but inside this, there's holes on this thing. Hold on, let me pull it up. Let's see if I can hold on. Let me see if I can get a thing. But oh no, no, no. Hold on. He already did it. Hold on. So Okay, anyways, there's holes inside the painting. So then he flips it over and he does the dots and then he connects the dots. And it's the skyline. It's Gotham City skyline. So then he do, does that and he pulls it up and he puts it up against a painting or a picture of the skyline. And then he they do it and the Wayne... Um, Okay, the Wayne, uh, Alan Wayne is circling a building with his name on it. So that's like his X marks the spot. If you remember, it looks like it's down by the docks because this looks like a big giant ship right here. You can't really tell. This is, yeah, whatever. Anyway, so then he's like, oh, he's like, good job, good job, good job, dude. So then back at uh, Mountain Drive, I don't know Wayne Manor was on Mountain Drive. I do like this Wayne Manor. It's it's quite nice. So they're all like. It's like, I'm sorry that you died. And he's like, yeah, but you didn't, you guys, you never tried to find out who our murderer was. Why didn't you try to find out who killed us? Huh? You let that rich dude just take you in and you never tried to find out who killed us. So then back at Harvey Dent's office, he gets a call from the lab. And they're all like, hey, we figured out whose blood that was. It was Petra's blood. And he's all like, he's like, what do you want me to file under? He's like, uh, extra found evidence at the site, at the site. And then he makes a recording and he's like, listen, uh, this is Harvey Dent. Um, I, you know, all the evidence points to that. I was, uh, you know, I killed some people and I was at the, the place where they died and everything, but I just want you to know, I didn't do it, but I'm a man of, you know, of evidence and, uh, all the evidence points towards me. So then these guys, they're going into the subway looking for this rock, right? And they're trying to find it. And finally they do hold on. We're going to just fast forward all this part. Cause there's a lot of nonsense talking here and I just don't care. So they find it. Well, they find the equilibrium or the eternium, whatever. The, we're just going to call it the eternium. Isn't that the stuff from Black Adam? We'll just call it the eternium. And they're like, okay, we're going to give them this rock uh, for, um, they try to break it, uh, but then Duella breaks her favorite knife. And then they do this thing where they reverse the the sound waves to try to figure out where he is. And he's in, they find out he's in Wayne Manor. And they're like, what? That's impossible. Why would he be at Wayne Manor? And they see the rock is gone. And Duella, they're like, where are you going? And she's like, I'm going back to get Turner. I'm going to get Turner back uh, the way you guys should have done it. And she's all like, we cannot give them that stone because then they would get have what they wanted. But then um, this kid walks in. He's like, hey, I got. we can give them the stone without giving them the stone. And I'm like, oh, yeah, you're going to do your stupid 3D printing thing. I'm like, you know what gets me is about this 3D printing thing is like, I've printed, I've 3D printed stuff and it doesn't look like exactly like the real thing. Like you could tell it's 3D printed. I'm just saying like it's got, maybe he's got one of those high tech ones, which I've never had, but I'm just saying. So anyway, so they're like, it looks exactly the same and it feels completely different. So uh, he's, and then he asks her about if she's into Blondie and he's like, you're only into dude bros or or uh, uh, rich chicks or some crap like that. And he's all like, people that don't appreciate you or some crap like that. And I'm just like, ugh, you two. You two are so bad at this whole acting thing. I mean, like I said, I've said that I've said this before and I said it in a video because they, they, they said this was the cheapest D CW show ever made. And I was like, oh, trust me, we can tell. Um, but the, all these actors are getting paid in cart target gift cards, except for maybe Misha Collins. They're all, they're all like these two are definitely not getting paid very well because they're just bad. And there's Wayne Manor. Like I said before, I really do like this Wayne Manor. It looks cool. I, but I like most of the Wayne Manors in the movies. 
So like, why didn't you find out who killed us? Why? Why didn't you? And then he flashes to realize that this is not real. And he's like, he's like, uh, he's like, why didn't you? Uh, he's like, what? What's? And he's like, he, it, long story short, he's like, because um, Bruce Wayne turned me into a orphan. He's like, why didn't you try to find out? And he also talks about how like, he's like, how did it feel to kill the talent? Did it feel good? Did it feel good to kill the talent? And then he's also like, um, I can't remember what else he says. Um. Uh, yeah, I can't remember what else he says here, but it doesn't even matter. He's like, join us, become our new Talon. And so while he's doing all this nonsense, they sneak in and, uh, you know, with ease. And they're like, give us him, give him back now. And he, she, he, he's like, he pulls out a knife. And she's like, oh, you want to pull a knife on me, dude? Well, it's cool because I brought insurance. And she whips out some some hand grenades uh, attached to herself. He's like, you're you're just like, the, you're the Joker's daughter, I can tell. And she's like, yeah, and everything. She's like, I'm crazy and stuff. So... They pop out the equilibrium, and as soon as they do that, um, he slices uh, Turner's throat. Let me see if I can get Yeah, he slices his throat. And they're like, Turner, oh my God, he's gonna die. And he's like, and he's like, now here's the sitch. That was the real equilibrium, or eternium. Uh, it would heal him in a matter of seconds. Uh, so go ahead and heal him. And they don't, because they don't have the eternium. And he's like, that's what I thought. I knew you would. I knew you didn't bring the real attorney. I'm, Bummer for your friend. And then that's when Carrie walks in and she's all like, I have it. I have it right here. Let me heal him and you can have it. And he's like, go ahead. So she heals him. Uh, brand spanking new, all good to go. And she gives it. He's like, I, I held my end of the bargain. Gives him the attorney and that court of owl leaves. They go back to the thing where she's all super happy that he's still alive. And, um, they're like, how did you get healed? And he's like, I don't know. It just, everything was fine. I even feel better and stuff. And I have a theory that he is going to become the Talon by the end of the season. Like that's going to be their big cliffhanger. He's going to become the new Talon, which that part I wouldn't be too sad about um, just because I think that that would be more interesting than anything else they've done on this show. That little twisty, uh, that would have been more interesting. But anyway, so she comes, he comes up here and he's, uh, she's all like, uh, you know, I just wanted to be a Robin ever since I saw Batman or some crap like that. I don't know what they talk about. It doesn't even matter. She's like, the only, the only, um, uh, bats are great predators, are great hunters. And the only predator towards an owl, uh, bat is an owl. And we just made them stronger. Um, and then she, they, these two connect a little bit and she's all like, you want to help me get this off big boy? And he's all, you know, they're flirting and stuff. And, uh, and he's all like, thanks for coming after me or some crap like that. And then he starts to to throw, uh, he vomits up this green stuff and then he passes, he's like passing out or whatnot. He probably needs more, he needs to be, he needs the Eternium inside him. Like he needs to get some put inside him like uh, the other talent did. So then he finally um, finishes recording his thing, which took forever, which I was like, oh, that's because the, you know, he, the other personality came out. And then he's like, memory, the memory is full. And he picks it up and he sees there's two new recordings. And the other one is him. And he's like, hey, Harvey, it's me, the you, well, you, the other you. He's like, listen, dude, uh, you're not a killer. You're not a killer. Uh, that's so true. Uh, he's like, but you may, I, he's like, of course you'd make this little thing. Uh, so I made one too. And he's all like, uh, uh, we're going to be good friends or some crap like that. I can't remember. And he's like, see you around, Harvey. And then that's where it ends, you guys. And like I said before, the Harvey Dent stuff is pretty good. I do enjoy that. Uh, just because that's that's always fun for an actor, especially, I and, and again, I enjoy Misha Collins as an actor. And I think he's doing a good job. In fact, I really like seeing him as Two-Face at the end, you know, the other personality. But, you know, uh, what, what, what was that total of like maybe five minutes for the episode and the good best part is the very end i'm just like man a good episode this does not make um but i also um i think that the court of owls storyline is actually pretty good but their whole uh what they're trying to do is good the re the, the the gotham knights part is not good um and then the acting of of the main characters mish collins of course and then um Blondie and Carrie are okay. They're okay. They're not like good, but they're not bad. So we'll say mediocre. Um, they're mid. Duella is good. The girl that plays Duella. She's actually my favorite part of this show. They should try to do more of her if it was me. 
Um, and then uh, the the brother, sister, and then Turner are just bad. They're bad actors. I'm sorry if you like them. I'm not. I'm not saying like you know you you can't help it if you like what you like. But they really are not that good, you guys. And it just it just makes me go like, and and it it just me it just makes me go like you couldn't whoever hired them needs to be fired. You know what I'm saying? Because they obviously are not good at their job. And I, I just go, cause you hired these, these bad actors. So uh, yeah. All right, you guys. Well, that's all I got for you on this episode, uh, this breakdown and everything. But tell me, what did you guys think about this episode? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Are you like me and you like them adding in the comic book stuff that they did add? I mean, it was little, but it was still, you know, as soon as it happened, I recognized it from the comic books. Um, and then who's your favorite character? Are you like me and you like Duella or is it another character? Do you think that the other actors, do you, the, the actors that I think are bad are bad? You know, did you like seeing Misha Collins play that villainy type? I think Misha Collins should play more villains. I actually did enjoy seeing him be a little batty for a second. I hope they do more of that throughout this season. If they do and they keep the show around, I'll be like, all right, I can see why you kept this show around for that at least. All right, I'm going to end it there. Tell me what you guys thought. Go ahead and leave all your comments in that section down below. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. You know, I won't mind if you need my channel. Please hit that subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it. And we'll see you guys on my next video. You guys have a good day. Bye.